Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. I just wanted to do a quick intro to this video. You'll know me for, for some time for doing reviews and information uh, updates and videos and things on Microsoft Teams and prior to that, Skype for Business and of course, Link before that. Uh, so this video you might find is a little bit out of character. I'll assure you that I am okay. I did do this video of my own free will and not under duress. I just found this experience, which is quite unique, to be quite compelling. And I'm hoping that one day Microsoft will uh, add this sort of feature to Teams rooms, either on Windows or Android or both. So Microsoft, if you are listening, hope you're working on this or even thinking about this for the future. Uh, for the rest of you that are Zoom fans or actually just room fans, you'll find this really quite cool. It's the companion whiteboard experience that's currently exclusive to Zoom rooms. Enjoy the show and thanks for watching. Right, I'm here at Samsung Showcase uh, office in Chertsey. Uh, it's a display showcase, really cool showroom, all the displays, all the different things. And what I'm showing today is something, a little known feature in Zoom rooms um, where you can do something called companion whiteboards. So what I've got here is a Samsung screen. It's not USB connected, so it's not a touch screen. Down here, I've got a Logitech Rally Bar. The Rally Bar is signed into Zoom Rooms with the account. And with Zoom Rooms, you actually get the, the ability to sign in with a second device as a companion whiteboard. All right, so over here, I've got a Samsung Flip. It is USB and HDMI connected to a Logitech Roommate. All right, so I'm gonna sign in with the same account that's signed into the Rally Bar. Right, so if I press sign in, what it should do is pop me up a choice. So you can sign in as the Zoom room, which is already signed in over here, or a companion whiteboard. And it's done on the same account and crucially the same license as the main Zoom room. So if I press companion whiteboard, it will actually join together and actually sign in to the same account as the companion whiteboard for this room. So this is the default state when you walk into a room. You can see that you've got a meeting, something in the diary, there'll be a touch controller uh, somewhere. For me, I'm actually using my laptop as the touch controller. And over here, I've got tap to whiteboard. I just press tap to whiteboard. I'm actually just whiteboarding. And that's kind of in the room whiteboarding sort of thing. I'm just gonna press close. Now what I'm gonna do is on my laptop, I'm gonna join this meeting here all right, so now I'm starting a meeting actually on the rally bar over here. Um, excuse the camera. And now I've actually kind of woken up the companion whiteboard. So now it says tap to whiteboard. So I'm just going to press start sharing. As you can see, that brings the whiteboard in as content to the Zoom meeting. So anybody that's in this Zoom meeting anywhere in the world will be able to collaborate. So if I were to just come up and grab a pen and start drawing, everybody writes high as the default choice, but you can see I'm actually sharing directly into that Zoom meeting. And when I'm done, I can exit the meeting and do whatever. But from, from what, what you can also do with Zoom Rooms companion whiteboard, or actually just whiteboarding in general, is I can share. So I can actually share this whiteboard and actually choose to see you know different attendees that are already in here, that sort of thing. I can also export it and actually send it by email, either to in Zoom chat or, or to somebody's email. So you don't lose that whiteboard once you've actually finished. Right, so another couple of things that you can do with these the solutions. You can see you've got the idle state for both the room and the companion whiteboard. I can walk up and I can say tap to whiteboard and I can start ideating actually in the room itself. So right now it's kind of in offline mode if you like. So again, if I start to type stuff, Right, okay. Now if I go over and join a meeting on the uh, Zoom room, what I can do is do a meet now, for instance, start a meeting just there, and then I get a new button down here. So you can see the whiteboard isn't actually in the meeting as such right now, but if I start share, I can actually do the sharing option, press continue, and that will bring the companion whiteboard in as a content artifact actually in the meeting. So you can see I'm actually in the meeting with the board and also the Zoom room. Anybody with the same setup anywhere in the world that's signed in and actually in this Zoom meeting can continue to collaborate as long as they have the same setup.
And that's really it. That's all I wanted to show you. Um, again, just a reminder, I'm using uh, a Samsung screen, a Logitech rally bar signed in as a Zoom room, a Samsung Flip 4 with a Logitech roommate on the back, all connected together. The same Zoom room account signed in as the room and the companion whiteboard and all done on Samsung stuff with Logitech on the back. Thanks very much.